Hey folks, this is Eric coming from Kansas again. Uh, sorry it's been a little uh, few weeks since I've done a video here, but uh, been busy with some things that I'll go over here, here in the, some other videos, namely um, that behind the generator. But anyway, uh, <clears throat> so what I want to do today is a uh, uh, high capacity test of this uh, uh, Champion dual fuel. Um, generator we bought here uh, a month, about a month ago and um, so previously I had done the break-in test uh, which is about five hours of uh, between 15% load and maybe 10 or 15% load and um, I did that for five hours I, I didn't do it all at once it's kind of, kind of a long time to do it all at once for uh, my busy schedule but Anyway, I got it done, and then uh, been kind of putting off this one because I, I had to change the oil on this thing. So they, they, they tell you to change the oil after you do that break-in test. So I went and did that. I put in some uh, Mobile One Five Weight Thirty, such as uh, what I've got here. So nothing fancy, but it's uh, just some full synthetic that we use in our vehicles. So. Uh, that's what I put in it, and uh, it's all filled up. And, and one thing I wanted to mention, I don't know if I mentioned in some of the videos, but the uh, did have some problems running this thing initially on the, the five hour break in because I actually didn't have the oil fill up all the way and it, and it took me a little bit to figure it out. Um, so in the pictures in the, in the manual, uh, there's a, picture that shows you the oil level that you should fill it up to and get this right here in the sun here's the oil fill and there's a picture and it tells you so you can see the threads in there you can I think you can kind of see the oil in there maybe um, I get close enough you can see it bouncing around in there uh, it's right at the top of the threads here in the pictures in the in the manual it only shows the oil up to the very bottom two or three threads inside there so that's what I was doing but uh, when I'd, I'd run the generator for about 10 or 15 minutes and all of a sudden it would shut off automatically you know just randomly sometimes it was 10 minutes sometimes it was 20 minutes it would just shut off and, and I, I just kind of wondered <laughs> in my head because if it was the oil load that's the only thing I can think of and um, I so I filled it up with the rest of the oil that came with the generator and uh, sure enough it uh, it ran fine after that so um, so if you end up buying one of these or uh, any champion generator um, Go ahead and use all of the oil they give you with it to uh, run it initially. So that's my suggestion. Uh, it was kind of annoying there for a while, but I finally got that figured out. Anyway, so we're going to run this. So what I really want to test out is, is this thing running on our uh, battery charger, that, that uh, Charles charger. It's a marine battery charger for boats usually. Uh, I've gotten another video. Um, sorry about that. And... Uh, Again, got that in their video talking about the, what, what that does for us and features of it. But anyway, so it, it, it it's supposed to pull, I'm, I'm estimating it pulls between 1,000 and 1,500 watts. So it'll about max out this thing um, on propane. Uh, as you remember, the propane is, you know, it says on here. But uh, yeah, propane, get to zoom in here. Propane is 1665 watts. That's the rating. So uh, this should run it, but uh, I'm going to test it out here today, and we'll see what happens. So what I'm going to do here is get it running, and I'm going to leave it in the eco mode first, and see if it'll uh, see if when I plug in the charger, if it'll keep running. If not, I'll just turn the eco mode off and test it out that way. So anyway, I'm going to get uh, get this thing started here, and um, 
we'll go from there. All right, folks, I got to start it up. Um, yeah, I just think this thing starts like a champ. It, I pulled it three times in the choke position and then turned to propane and started on the first pull. So it's pretty nice. So I'm going to plug it in here with one hand. I, and I know the, the uh, breaker downstairs is not uh, turned on yet, so that didn't do anything. So I'm going to go downstairs and turn the breaker on. So before I go down and turn the breaker on, I just wanted to show you I'm, I'm at uh, about a negative 135 amp hours here. Solar's pulling in about 1,100 watts. And it uh, looks like I'm only using about 8 watts. I don't have everything switched on that could be on this system. but So I'm throwing in about 1,000 watts, looks like, in the batteries. About 36 amps. So, uh, we'll go downstairs and see how this changes. Okay, folks, I went, as you saw, I went downstairs and threw the breaker and uh, you saw the, the uh, generator kick up automatically on the eco mode which is pretty cool so we don't have to have it uh, on the off the eco mode to get this charger going so, so instead of 35 amps we're putting in uh, about 75 amps so the battery charger is putting in about 40 amps uh, I'm not sure what load the converter chart or the generator is at still solar is still 1100 watts about the same as what it was so the charger's putting out about 40 amps and uh, got a light on downstairs so it's a little higher than the 80 amps you saw. So anyway, yeah, uh, looks like it's working. I'm going to let this thing run for a few more minutes and um, maybe I'll get a meter on the generator here to see what uh, it's pulling from the generator. Alright folks, you can see I got the kilowatt meter hooked up now should have had that done earlier but uh, at 120.7 volts it's uh, there's no load on it now again I turned the load off for a charger and now I'm gonna go back downstairs and uh, flip the breaker on again for the charger and we'll see uh, what it runs at so I'm gonna switch it to uh, okay I'm gonna switch it to watts and up, there's the Hertz, just about a uh, perfect 60 Hertz there. Let's see, there's watts, so zero watts. So I'm going to flip the breaker on, we'll see what that does, and I'll flip it back to the volts and see how, how much the voltage sags. Actually, a lot less uh, watts than I thought it was going to pull. So it's pulling about the same watts as uh, the charger's putting out, but I think the charger has some. Uh, let's see what the volt amps are, the reactive power. Yeah, the reactive power is almost 1500. So it's. The uh, power factor is not very high, I bet. Yeah, it's only a 0.7 factor power factor. That's. So even though the watts is only a thousand watts, it's still maxing out this thing pretty close. I, I'd be curious. I need to call the. I need to email the manufacturer and see what the max reactive power this thing can put out is. I'll I'll see if I can uh, update that in the comments some, at some point. Let's see. And we got a uh, hundred. Uh, just below 120 volts. So that's still pretty good for that kind of load for this thing. Yeah, it's surfing around there. 12 and a half amps. So yeah, right around 1,000 watts. So there you go, folks. This thing uh, does what I wanted to do. Works like a charm. Uh, 
Um, so, I'm going to go back and turn back off and uh, we'll uh, end the video here in a minute. paint off here. Unplug that. All right, there we are, folks. All right, so there you have it, folks. Uh, that was the uh, capacity test that I wanted to uh, accomplish for this this generator. Um, I don't plan on doing any full full capacity test on propane like uh, I, I might sometime but um, just want to show you that uh, I get a pretty pretty high load and if I ever find out from a manufacturer if uh, you know what the max watts is here versus the max uh, volt amps or uh, reactive power equivalent to that what they're expecting for a power factor I, I'll uh, let you know in the comments or in the uh, description notes for the video, but anyway, thought you'd uh, hope you like that. And uh, any more questions on this generator? Um, uh, let me know. But uh, I think I've tried to show you everything I've learned about it. Again, I haven't filled up with gas. I don't ever plan to, but uh, I got the gas if I need it. Um, and uh, that's what I bought it for: is a uh, Plan B slash uh, Plan C kind of a deal for electricity um, and uh, I don't know I, I may try and I've seen people hook, hook these up in parallel with uh, different manufacturers um, uh, generators so I may do a video on that too but anyway hope you like that um, and uh, we'll talk to you later grace and peace be with you bye for now